Hey, I'm Emma Garlett and welcome to Paint It Black. A few weeks ago, a seven-year-old Aboriginal child was served a violence restraining order by police officers, which was unlawfully issued by a court in Western Australia. Video of the incident posted to TikTok went viral. I'll be within 20 metres of the nearest internal boundary of the community. Approach on the minimum of 20 metres. Yeah, this one. It was confronting and widely condemned by the community. In today's episode of Paint It Black, I'll talk about discrimination against Indigenous children. We know Indigenous people are overrepresented in prisons, including those in youth detention centres. And I've spoken about the need to shut down Unit 18 at Casarina Prison following the death of a 16-year-old Aboriginal boy. In Western Australia, the criminal age of responsibility is 10 years old. So how did it happen that a seven-year-old child who was well below the age of criminal responsibility was issued a VRO? Surely one of the first steps is assessing if it's legal to issue a VRO before traumatising the child with the most horrific experience and encounter with police. At seven years old, children still have their baby teeth. They're actively learning and an experience with the police at seven years old does far from rebuilding relationships with the community. A couple of days after the video surfaced, WA Police Commissioner Cole Blanche apologised for the unlawful VRO and acknowledged the mistake on police behalf, saying they got it wrong. It emerged the order was made by a lawyer at Perth Children's Court. The court resolved this matter by cancelling the order, but this was a traumatic experience a child faced at the hands of a failure of administration within the judicial system. Lip service needs to be coupled with financial damages for the child. An apology on its own is not enough. There has been a lot of talk about raising the age of criminal responsibility in WA, but it hasn't happened. What has happened is this seven-year-old's been traumatised. How much needs to go wrong in WA to realise we have a systems problem here? With the amount of money being spent on WA police technology, you would think they would have the capability to realise it was illegal to serve a seven-year-old with a violent restraining order. Even the court systems. Was someone asleep at the keyboard? We can't let this behaviour pass by and be ignored. Thanks for watching Paint It Black with me, Emma Garlett. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode.